Hi, my name is Przemek Chojecki and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to review Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certificate. So this is another course on Coursera that I'm going to review. I've never taken this one, so that's the, the first thing I wanted to mention. I just wanted to have a look at it because uh, it seems to be one of the most popular courses right now and I wanted to see what's inside because the title from my perspective is not that appealing as for example, I don't know, machine learning, deep learning or IBM data science. Uh, but yeah, uh, and looking inside actually it is pretty interesting. So as a certificate you have six courses inside. Basically certificates on Coursera works like that. Uh, you get a couple of courses uh, bundled together and if you choose to actually pass the, all the exams, all the tests, all the quizzes then you will get a certificate at the end of the, of the course, at the end of all the courses, all the series of courses. Here this certificate will come from Google. So it's really great because this is the organization which is recognized worldwide and this is something you can put on your resume, be it on LinkedIn or CV you will send out to your potential employers. That, that will definitely boost your career. So that's great. So let's have a look what's inside this course actually. Uh, basically from the description you can read that you'll learn in-demand skills like Python, Git and IT automation to advance your career. So that sounds okay but nothing unusual uh, but actually if you go inside the course and see what's what's inside then it's getting more uh, more interesting because what you will get with this course is everything uh, it will give you a framework for how to do your data science experiments how to do your programming projects how to organize everything and then uh, those small things like using bash, using git, uh, pulling or committing everything to github, stuff like which you will probably learn along the way anyway even if you haven't done it before so probably that's the way I did it but if you were to start from scratch then this is really a cool way to approach it because you will have your knowledge uh, in a given framework you'll be able to uh, be much quicker when it comes to learning how to do well programming how to do well IT data science projects and this is something I missed for a long time I had to learn it from scratch uh, and I regret that part because probably a course like that would help me immensely uh, at the beginning of my uh, coding career. So let's have a look inside what's inside the courses there are six courses so as usual with Coursera you can audit each course for free or you can choose to uh, buy a whole certificate. It depends on the location where you are. The prices are changing. Uh, the course for this one, the, the price for this one is uh, from from London, from the UK, uh, thirty-eight pounds per month, uh, which is roughly forty forty-five dollars, I guess, or forty-nine uh, per month to do the whole certificate, and it probably takes uh, around two to three months to do it. So the total total uh, price will be something around $150 uh, one, $150 if you were to count in dollars, uh, the, the whole thing. Uh, but it really depends, it depends on your location, so check that out. But the other option which is really useful and which is really nice is that you don't have to pay if you don't want to and if you just want to audit the courses. So for example, if you were to go to crash course on Python, so as you can see right now on the screen and then if you click on enroll for free uh, on this particular course then what you will see is you will see a screen which will allow you to start this trial but you will still have to do the uh, give you a card and and so on another option is this Coursera uh, which gives you unlimited access to everything and you also build monthly which is probably even nicer but this thing is the, the thing that I wanted to show you. So in the middle you have this small audit the single course and it will allow you to jump straight into the course and just see all the videos, see all the exercises and see if you like it. The only drawback of this thing is that you won't get uh, a certificate at the end of that. So that might be the, uh, the, the, the only con of using that option. So if you choose that and if you jump into the course you will basically be able to see something like that. So basically you have weeks here, uh, all the courses are divided into weeks and then each week uh, is giving you some materials to watch, so videos, you will have the general summary what's in the course and then reading materials, quizzes, you can go through, stuff like that. So it's all useful. 
So coming back to what's inside the course, uh, there are six courses, as I mentioned. Number one is Crash Course on Python, so very basic thing. Uh, if you don't know Python, then that's probably a course for you. If you already did a course like IBM Data Science or Machine Learning, uh, then you don't need that. You can skip uh, to course number two, which is using Python to interact with the operating system. It's basically about how to use Bash and different kind of scripting to make it you much more faster in programming. Very useful. Uh, course number three, Git and GitHub. That's the, the most common framework for actually doing any kind of programming project. It's really, really, really essential to do anything with programming actually. And Git and GitHub are will be demanded anywhere you go and anywhere you will search for a job. So it's worth taking time to learn them properly. Number four, troubleshooting and debugging techniques. So again, this is really important because you want to have this framework for how to fix general issues, how to find them, uh, seeing who wrote what and how to how to think about debugging. So it's all useful. Uh, course number five, configuration management and the cloud. It's all about how to scale your applications on the cloud, how to deploy them on the cloud, and then make them bigger as you grow with your users or your features. Also really important. And the last course is automating real world tasks with Python. This is basically the product that you're given. And those are real world tasks that you will have to solve. So in the end, uh, six courses for this certificate and looking at them and I, I went through a couple of them and see like what's within the, each of the courses. Uh, they're really well prepared, but that's probably what you can expect from Google. This is really, really great to go. So if you even click on the particular courses, you will be able to see how each week looks like, uh, how many videos you have, how many readings, quizzes, uh, stuff like that. So for example, week one of the, I think this is second or third course, you will get uh, 16 videos, total of 79 minutes, five readings, four quizzes. And then you can see what are those uh, videos and whether that's something interesting or not. Um, yeah, so there's plenty of material which is really, really useful, um, especially if you're just starting your journey with programming. So this is what I wanted to cover in this video. Let me know if you have taken this course, how do you like it, for whom you should you would recommend that, and your general feedback. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.